Hello everyone, this is Patrick Kelly. Kelly, a photographer and editor and videographer very smallly. Lee, and today in the year of 2021, I've decided I'm gonna, before I ever get asked this question by clients or by anyone, what cameras and lenses I use, use and we're gonna go over it today. And let's start off with the main, the camera I use to shoot these vlogs. It's the Canon 70D, and I use a little $40 Amazon microphone um, to shoot the audio, and I use the Canon EFS 24mm f2.8 STM lens as the YouTube lens, behind the scenes lenses if, I, if I'm ever going to take my take videos behind the scenes if I have a friend or someone who helps me. This camera is a backup camera for my main photography camera, but it's also majorly for shooting these videos, my little vlogs, vlogs, my little, little snippets I like to record. But let's get to my main camera that I use. Here it is, it's the Canon 5D Mark II. Ooh, it's, hopefully that gets in focus. This, but, yeah, this is the main camera I'm using for a lot of photo shoots. I have a client that I'm being hired for to do her graduation photos soon. So I consider that more of a portrait. And, and I'm excited to get to that project. Okay, this is, the camera that I'm going to be using also next year in the wedding that I talked about in my last video. I'm very excited to be shooting at this. Now as for my main lens, the lens I'm going to be using the most for a lot of these projects, here it is, it's the Canon EF 24 to 105 millimeter f4L IS lens. This lens I have used on my portrait, if you go on my website, I, a majority of the pictures that you see are shot with the 24 to 105. The, and I'm very happy with this. I really love this lens. It was one of, it was my second lens I ever bought. Now my first lens I ever bought was a Rokinon 35 millimeter T1.5 lens that I no longer use. But this lens I have used for nearly a year or a year and a half, and I'm never gonna sell this lens unless I'm wanting to get Mark II. But right now, I'm very happy with this lens. Next lens. Now the next lens, this is my regular 50 millimeter. This is the 50 millimeter F1.8. This is my third lens I ever bought. I bought it in June of, I believe it was 2019 or 2020. Now this lens is one of my cheapest lenses. It's, you can get these new for around 130 bucks at, at worst, 130 bucks or 100 bucks at best for brand new. F1.8, you can't really beat it. I've taken some some headshots with these with my 70D. Unfortunately, I don't have those anymore. Or, but this lens has performed very, very well for me. The next lens. This is a lens that I'm going to be probably using for my the wedding that I'm shooting next year and hopefully future weddings. It is, it is the Canon EF 70 to 200 millimeter F4L IS, also with wildlife. Photography. Now I know I just done a recent review on this lens, and 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 I'm still happy with it, but I have not had the chance to really, really use it yet. Yeah, the projects I'm being hired for right now, I really don't need to use this yet. Yeah, but for me, right now, it was best to get this instead of waiting for when the photo shoot happens for the for the wedding. My next lens, lens, this lens will only be shot for macro photography and detail shots of wedding rings and whatever they want detail shots of. It is the 
Canon EF 50 millimeter your compact macro f 2.5 this lens i will probably be doing a review on it later it's pretty old so i don't know if there's much i can say about it but what i can tell you it, it does get a pretty nice image i got this lens because one of the photographers that i watch on youtube who she recommended this lens if you're getting into weddings it, it, her name is Jessica Kobasi. Almost every photographer who also films YouTube videos knows her. But she recommended this lens. And I realize hey, she is right. Clients are going to want detailed shots of wedding rings. And it's best I get a macro lens that can do it. Now I know the 24-105 can do that too. But this, its main goal is the macro. Bro, the macro is just an added bonus on this one. And finally, this is another of my last lens. This lens is going to be mainly used for portraits. Now, portraits can be graduations or regular portraits. And for weddings, engagement sessions also. And it's the Sigma 35mm f1.4. Or, now this lens I will be using along with the 24 to 105 and the basically the last four lenses I use, said are going to be on the wedding next year and I'll try to get as many pictures for for the client and for YouTube. Oop. This lens, lens, I made it an investment because I'm getting hired to do more portraits for like graduation pictures and regular portraits and most people want a full body body and 35 millimeters can cover that along with the 24 105 now these last two lenses i have not had a chance to go out and test out yet these have been investments because projects keep coming in and requests keep coming coming in so it was important to make these investments now that is the end of my lenses and my the 5d mark ii and the 70d now it's time for my video camera on the rare off chance i shoot a video for a client majority of my projects are now picture based like i said on my last video now this camera oh man it's heavier than i remember it's the canon c100 with the rode ntg hybrid shotgun mic mic this is the camera i use for a lot of my video projects You've seen my review on the C100, and there's nothing else I can say. It's a great camera to use for video. Anyway, that is all of the camera equipment I own. I will be be sure to do another updated one, probably a year or two, when I have a lot more equipment. Some things may come in, some things may go out, but. In the meantime, I'm fairly happy with what I own. This takes years of knowledge, of learning how to use photography and video and to become a better artist. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you want to. Have a good day.